वेलकम टू माय चैनल फार्मा टूंस जिपैट एंड नाइपर जी सॉल्यूशन कृपया मेरे इस चैनल को आप सब्सक्राइब करो एंड उसको लाइक एंड शेयर करना न भूले दोस्तों ऑल्सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकॉन बिकॉज ऑफ वेन एवर आई विल बी अपलोडिंग न्यू वीडियो यू विल बी नोटिफाइड क्विकली थैंक यू my today's topic is historical perspective of stereochemistry so in this session especially we'll see the contribution of the various scientists towards the development of the stereochemistry concepts so let us start with the first scientist he was christian huygens basically he was a dutch astronomer mathematician as well as the physicist and he has discovered the plane polarized light now what do you mean by plane polarized light that means where light waves are vibrated in only one possible plane so say for example this is our light source where light rays are vibrated in all possible plane and through polarization this unpolarized light or we can say polychromatic light is converted into the monochromatic light where light rays are vibrated in only one possible plane so by this way we can convert polychromatic light to monochromatic light or we can say plane polarized light so it was discovered by the christian huygens named the scientist next is carl wilhelm schiele so he discovered the tartaric acid from the tartar now what do is tartar that means the potassium salt of the tartaric acid that is deposited on the barrel and cork during the fermentation of the grape juice it is called the tartars this is a structures of the tartaric acid it has a it have two chiral centers and with it two carboxylic acids groups are attached and this is a ball and stick model of the tartaric acids then the next scientist was jean baptiste biot he noted that certain natural organic compound it may be in liquid or in solid form that can rotate the plane polarized light and hence such kind of compound is called chiral compound and the compound which can rotate the plane polarized light which are called optically active compounds and it gives the optically optical activity so it was the conclusion from the jean baptiste biot he noted that certain natural organic compound that could be rotated the plane polarized light so say for example this is a plane polarized light where light rays are vibrating in only one possible plane when it the light is passes through the sample tube where various molecules various chiral molecules are present so that means tube containing a liquid organic compound or solutions and ultimately which can rotate the plane polarized light so such compound can rotate the plane polarized light either right or left side so it was noted by the jean baptiste biot in 1980 uh, sorry in 1819 racemic acid was discovered and later shown to have the same formula as a tartaric acid so tartaric acid and at that time it was noted that tartaric acid is a dextro rotatory compound now dextro rotatory compound that means the compound which can rotate the plane polarized light right side so hence it is called dextro rotatory compounds in 1832 by it noted that the tartaric acid from the grape juice fermentation rotated the plane polarized light in clockwise manner that means in 1832 by it noted that tartaric acid it was obtained from the grape juice fermentation process which can rotate the plane polarized light right side that means we can say it is a clockwise rotation so we can say it is a dextro rotatory compound 
now then contribution of the Louis Pasteur came into the pictures so he repeat the same theory same work on racemic acid and crystallization of the sodium ammonium salt gives a mirror image crystals that he separated by the hand so what he did so whatever previously work was done on racemic acid so he was uh, crystallized the racemic acids by uh, physical processes and separated out the crystals by the hand and equimolar solutions of separated crystal have equal but opposite activity so this was the con uh, conclusion from him okay uh, the both the crystals are called equimolar solution of the separated crystals have equal but opposite activity so this is a racemic salt and this is a separated crystals so one of the crystal it is a consider as a dextrorotatory and another is a levorotatory so dextrorotatory form that is a natural form naturally available while levorotatory form that is not a natural form it can be separated in the lab so these two are the main conclusion from the lewis pastures so racemic acids that means uh, 50% it has a dextrorotatory compound and 50% it has a levorotatory compound so net moment of the light is zero so hence it is called optically inactive compound so racemic acids are generally optically inactive then uh, there was a contribution from the two scientists one is joseph a label and another is jacobs h wenthoff so both of them have proposed that carbon with four attachments is called tetrahedral carbon so in uh, discovery of stereochemistry principles in discovery of stereochemistry theory contribution of joseph label and jacob wenthoff is very important both have proposed that carbon with four attachments is called tetrahedral carbon and a molecule having a tetrahedral carbon with four attachment or four different groups that may be exist as a pair of isomer that means the center carbon which is attached with four different group so which may be exist as a pair of isomer so it was the conclude from the both the scientists so this is all about the history of the stereochemistry thank you